Okay, uh, the next step is to put in another axle and a corresponding 8 tooth gear that's going to mesh with the 24 tooth gear. So I'll go in and I'll get my axle part. And just as we did before, I'm going to select the pin geometry. It is asking me for the surface that I want to connect it to. So it actually has a surface already pre-selected over here. So I'm going to select the surface and then it's asking me for what are the planar surface that it wants to connect to. I'll select this one and it's asking me for the translational distance and I guess that's okay. I'll accept that uh, that as a default. And we'll say okay. So that was very fast. And let's verify that it rotates. And it does. Now, let me view it from say the top and we can see that uh, these beams are lined up. So that's nice. We're going to keep that. And I'll change the color of this beam to that green as well. Maybe a different color. I'll leave it as the green. It seemed to have worked. And let's come here and now what I want to bring in is an gear underscore eight or an eight gear part or an eight tooth gear. So what I'm going to do is do much of the same thing as I did before. I'm going to select uh, from the picker here. I'm going to select surface I'm going to select one of the interior surfaces of this gear and I'm going to select the rounded surface of the axle and the next thing I want to do is specify when I specify this surface here before I specify the edge I'm going to specify the front surface of the gear and the surface of the axle itself and I'm going to allow me to pull it back and forth to uh, move the alignment a little bit. And now the last thing I need to do is come up here and select edges and I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to do it backwards this time. I'm going to select an edge off of the um, the axle. So there's the edge off the axle and now I want to get a corresponding edge of the part itself and again I'm going to come in here and say that I only want to select edges and that's the edge that I want. You can see that it's fully constrained. The only thing I'd like to do is go back to my placement, select the original alignment and where the offset was 19. Let me bring it back such that I am... You see that I'm meshing um, so it's a little bit maybe 6.25 gets me just kind of where I be where I want to be and that's good enough for now so we'll say that we're done. Now we clearly see that my gears are not meshing the way I'd like them to. That's okay. Let me look at this from, so that's the front. I need to look at it from the back to get both my gears. And I'm going to turn it into this view so we can see the gears a little bit better. And now all I want to do is grab the hand and rotate this part such that the gears are not overlapping each other and that's going to be good enough for our next part that we're going to do. So we'll close out of that, go back to the solid view and take a look at what we have over here and now both those parts rotate but there's no linkage between them and in this in the next step we will go into the mechanism module and do that.